welcome back to Dewdrop, my hard mode island, and I am back in the same spot again, the same outfit, you know me, just boring. <laughs> Basically, I'm here, I want to start maybe a build, and I want to show you what I've done, so let's get out of this camera mode. Um, actually, one thing you might have noticed is that I made some, let's get back in camera mode, I made some eyebrows, so... I always make the same eyebrows. I tried something different with these ones and I gave them like a little, like a shadow thing. I had to change my skin tone to make that work, but I don't know. I like from a distance, I think it looks really good. It kind of makes the eyebrow blend a bit more. But one thing I did, and this is pretty major, uh, is that I made a path. Uh, let me go this way. So I've started placing it. This is my path that I've made. So it is very, I feel like very obviously inspired by the path, which was made by um, I I know it's Denim to Mori, but it's got underscores in there, so I will link it below. Very famous. I'm sure you know about this path already, and it's pretty like easy to make. I I don't think it's too difficult. I think anyone could make a version of the path, and I thought that would be a good thing to start with. So I'll show you. Let me custom designs. So this is. It, um, if anyone is interested and anyone is watching and they would like a little tutorial on how to make the path or a version of the path I'm more than happy to do that because it's you know you can just whip it up I think it didn't take me too long to make this um, I wanted something to go with the snow it's a little freakly and like the middle bit sticks out a little bit but I think you can't really notice and I made what's yeah actually what's nice about making your own version of the path is that you can change all my giant viewers that live here um but you can change bits of it so i decided that i didn't like too many of these holes on the side bits so i made as you can see let me get that i made like a version of the right side with with and without a hole and i made a middle bit because it was a bit bland having just heaps of the middle bits so i could just you know change it once i got bored of it um so this is my entrance <laughs> mm, got you know rusty fence we've got torch and we've got our new lord and savior the frog thing on top of the pedestal worship him yes so as as i as with my rules i have been trying to craft everything it's been a lot of work some things i can't i don't have a bamboo yet um i cannot get enough pearls i got one but i need more for this and don't have tulips or enough wooden flowers so i'm i'm getting there trying me best but you know it's a little tricky with some things um so at the moment i've just got set up <laughs> beautiful flower breeding area um and then dotted around the place i have i really need to turn that off that is too loud turn off. yeah um i just got stuffed off around the place because it's a good way to get um like the island stars off at the start so if you want to get the three stars and unlock for me not the terraforming said but to unlock the game paths you gotta um do that i suppose some turnips because honestly i just wanted it for the bugs like the flies and the ants is that wrong i might eat 10 of them to move stuff at some point but yeah this is how my island is looking I'm mostly proud of the path that I made. I think it looks good. I like it. I'm happy with it. And so that's why I wanted to start work on the entrance, make something fun. I've also decided not to put um, Abel's and the Nook shop on the beach. Because I thought, this is my thoughts, is that you could kind of go like this and then pass them all. And that kind of goes up towards resident services. This is my thoughts. I don't know. I probably will change it at some point, but I thought it was nice. What I'm going to do is move some trees in a bit closer, I think will be my starting point. And I'm going to steal trees. Um, I might... Oh, dom. Perfect. Um, I'm going to steal trees from over here, I think. Okay, so I have my trees. And my first tree that I'd like to put is just here. Here. Yeah. I should really make these paths meet, I reckon. Oh, I do want to put that down, but I think it would look 
good to have this come up this way. So, I think another tree here. Yeah. I think ultimately what I'll need to do is actually I'll put this one here. I need to set up like a little farm for having bigger and smaller trees because let me get rid of this blopple. And I'm gonna put a blopple here. That's the official name. It's the blopple. Yeah. And then I can put the torch on here. Beautiful. Love it. So a lot of these items I'm just like working with what I have because it's pretty Yeah. It's pretty it's pretty bland at the moment. And it's kinda of fun. That's what the challenge is with this island is that I you know I just have some items and I just have to make them work. <laughs> Which is kinda of what I'm enjoying about it. Like I would never do any of this. And you know, it may not be beautiful and it may not be perfect, but I'm trying my hardest. <laughs> Two other items I could put around here. Oh, log sticks, definitely. I have most of my items like out and about, so um, it's just a matter of coming to grab them. I reckon a lantern would be good. Oh, Paula's Lincoln. What do you want, Paula? No, I wasn't. I already have the lantern. Hmm. Probably will do that. Ooh, leaf umbrella will be cute. And this. Let's grab this. I kind of like the setup, but I'm gonna steal this. And I'm gonna put back this. Ooh, and I should steal some of the items outside of my starter villager houses. So let's go get those. Ooh, and I also didn't talk about the villager that moved in my last one, who is here. And this is Midge. So Midge was my normal villager that moved in. I ain't mad about it, which is fine. So let's place some things. I kind of need something long and tall here. Mm. So it's going to be a very strange arrangement. I had something that I thought, ooh, I'll put that on top. Did that just exist in my brain? Maybe it did. So cute. Tanami from fencing. Beautiful. The cypress plant can go here. <laughs> well, <laughs> doesn't look great anywhere, but. grab it on my way. Put some more fencing. Beautiful. I do not know why I chose this fencing, but I I have I have. fencing put in. Maybe outside of evils we have a chair and table. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's very funny and that's what I like about it. <laughs> so because I got given all these kind of like random sort of junky items. I've just been trying to figure 
kind of best arrange them in a way I thought it like it kind of like a junk jumble sort of theme I think was what I was thinking about because that is definitely it's like just making items out of what I have or areas out of what I have so it's making do okay what else did I have I've got log stakes which would look good here somewhere beautiful oh, I do love that oh barrel definitely here Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, like, I've sort of liking this. It's quite fun. I mean, it's a no theme, no aesthetic. It's kind of, it's working. It's working for me. I don't know if anyone else will think this is good or fun, <laughs> but I like it, and that is what is important. to be a tree. I'm gonna put a tree somewhere there. Okay. So I grabbed the hay bit because I thought that yeah, this fire ranging area is pretty yuck. But I thought that I could put the hay bed in this little bit. Actually cute, love that. Anything tall I could put? Put another tree, tree here. Yeah, that. Okay. I really need to move. I think this needs to go in its own like beautiful sacred area where we worship the frog. I think that's important. I'm not gonna move it now, but I think we need frog worship area very importantly. So a log stool. I might put this down still. And hi. <laughs> well, that doesn't look comfortable or good. It's also like freezing. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move this. tree. I mean the log still. <gasps> yes! Ah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I am. No, I'm gonna do it right now. up to nothing. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> I have been really bothering my villagers because I got a few. I gotta chat with them for no reason. Oh, cute! Yes! Absolutely! It's gonna look so cute! Aww! That looks so cute! Oh no, she's gonna give me a gift. Please don't be an item of clothing. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, I can deal with that. I'm actually kind of locked up, as you can see from my like normal outfit that I'm wearing. It's been lucky so far. I should take this hose over to my area. Oh, <laughs> should I put this snowman at the entrance? I made, I customized him, I don't know what it is, he's like very smug and crappy looking, so I think it'll work. Also I'm going to steal these flowers because I don't need them here and they can be by the entrance. Okay, flowers, one here, let's put the book 
on the table. No. Beautiful. Okay. And then I reckon I'll put the large mushroom. between it. I'll, put, I'll come back to that. I'll leave it there for now, but I'll, I think I'll come back. I, th I sort of need to create another code for like to put under these sort of items to make them a bit more interesting. Because it's... Snow's, snow's tough. Snow is easily very boring, so i got to put some effort in, you know? Let's put some more flowers here. Nice. Oh, actually, this is perfect. Let's put the... no. That is real. Blocking plants I'm growing here, but it actually, it doesn't matter. And then... Tin bucket can be... On this. And then the back here and put some flowers. I want to put the snow person somewhere. Do I make him my like? Oh, can't go through there. My welcomer. <laughs> Get rid of this. Actually, that is very fun. I am definitely gonna put him here. <laughs> He's so smug and aggressive. I. <laughs> okay. And I think that's all for my. Oh, I have the cypress plant. So let's put that. Um, excuse me. Let's put that here so it's like a nice. Oh, there is room. Yeah. Maybe I should put the seat like here. bit more of this fencing so we can hmm what can we do do I put it down here What? That for having absolutely no items and having to work with very limited stuff. I'm loving it. Maybe I should make a new rule, and that is I can only craft one of each item, work with that. Ah, oh, that's so good. That's such a fun rule. So I can't craft more than one unless it's a tool. I might do that. I might make that the new rule. That I can only craft one of each item. I have to use it somewhere. And I can use unlimited bought items. And I can buy more items. But the crafting items, I can only make one of. Apart from fences and tools. Hmm. I'm going to ponder that one. It's kind of tricky rule. It's pretty hard. But it would be really fun to do. Okay, so I've placed down the path that kind of goes around this way to the shop. So that is looking good. I like the way that it flows around. Looks cute. 
Um, and I've been thinking more about the role of like only being able to craft one of each item. And I think that is very fun and very challenging. So I'm going to give that a go for a bit. I'm going to see how that goes down. I feel like <laughs> it may be horrible. It may be amazing. We will find out. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick to it. So just crafting one of each item. Um, I'm just going to chuck these guys. Oh, I should chuck down these trees. I reckon... This is and should probably be another one right here. Yeah, for now. I'll probably change where those all are. Beautiful. Definitely need to come back with some weeds, put some weeds down. The lantern. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna grab some weeds. I'll put some weeds in. I really hate this bird. No. Oh my goodness. As I was saying, I hate this here. So my I don't think it goes anywhere here really, so I'm just going to chuck it somewhere random. This is my house! I've been trying to put everything in here. Actually, I'll put my kitchen items over here. I've been trying to make it like at least a little bit nice looking, but um, yeah. <laughs> you know, three beds, your usual. Um, it's a bit of a mess at the moment, but I'm getting there. I should really think about which items of these I like to put outside, but we'll get to that. Oh no, I've only got five weeds. Oh no. Hopefully checking in these weeds, I get a few more. That will be really helpful. Yeah. And here. Okay, I think that is pretty good for a start. You know, it's very random. There's no theme. The theme is the items that I have received <laughs> and were made. That's pretty much it. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling like it has a flow. It has a look to it. Um, I'll definitely start a farm to have the trees of different sizes. because I think that's going to be really helpful if I change this out for smaller or bigger trees. Um, but yeah, I'm excited that we started, or well, we decided on a new rule because, I don't know, I feel like that's going to make it so challenging and interesting to try and not craft extra items. Because there's a lot of like really nice aesthetic items that you can craft over and over and they look really good, like barrels and stuff. But not crafting and just trying to use what I have is going to make this island very messy. That was one thing I was considering is making like a city core kind of island and I could make um, some street patterns and stuff. Um, but I might do that. Who knows? Who knows where I'll end up with this island? Um, for now, you know what this is going to be called? I'm going to name this right now. Let me zoom in for dramatic effect. It's going to be called Messy Core. <laughs> it's going to be called Basic Bitch Messy Core. Yeah, that, I think that's a good name. You know, it's fun to make up your own new core. <laughs> Thanks for watching my new fun video <laughs> making this weird entrance that you know we'll see how we go with it i'm pleased and not pleased i think it's uh, an interesting eclectic mix of things um but i'm excited to see where we end up and what happens next who knows who knows what happens next anyway goodbye